Hey guys, today we are going to be painting a dragon eye. So starting diagonally, we're going to draw a long curved line for the top of the eye and another long curved line for the bottom, creating sort of a football shape. For the pupil of the eye, it's not like a human's where it's round. This is going to be a long pointed pupil. Starting from the top, bring your line almost down to the bottom, curving inward. Out and then back in for the bottom curved point. Now I'm going to draw a thin line above and below the eye for sort of an eyelid. And one more, and in this one I'm going to be adding texture. I'm drawing some short lines in this part of the eyelid for some texture. Now I'm ready to make my scales. Starting out with the smallest ones, wrapping right around the eye, I'm drawing several small bumps. Note that they're all connected and side by side. For my second row of scales, I'm making them larger and stretching them longer like rounded rectangles. For each layer after that, I'm going to make the scales bigger and bigger. Now I'm trading my pencil for a waterproof marker. It's important that it's waterproof because we're going to be painting and we don't want it to smudge. Notice that when I shaded the pupil, I left out a small oval. That's because I'm going to have a white highlight there. This step is called trace and erase because you trace all your pencil lines, then erase any pencil lines that are left behind. Next, I'm taking my marker to round out some of these smaller scales that wrap around the eye. Now I'm ready to paint. Using watercolors, the scheme I've chosen is to use green for the eye and purple and red for the scales. For the eye, I'm starting with darker greens around the edges and around the pupil and using lighter greens and yellows toward the center. As I layer color in, I'm taking some of the darker colors and dragging them into the lighter colors with the tip of my brush to create some lines. For the scales, I'm using purples and red. I'm starting with the darkest purple where the scales overlap and making it lighter as I go out. I have red on the end of each of the scales, which helps create some contrast so that you can see each individual scale. Finally, I'm using those same colors to create an edge around the eye. And there we have our watercolor dragon eye. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.